right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being an example towards younger brothers. And peace and blessing and salutation to the hopeful they got there pushing this word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, pushing to get a body and Shalom unto the hopeful they the believers, the listeners who may have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Shah? And what I want to get into, all right, this morning is that you know we're being conditioned to fully trust, you know, in our power, all right, and that's why you know the truth is so repetitive, and that's why in our personal life, you know, we go through you know circumstances where the Lord shows, you know, without a doubt that He's with us, man. You know, and we really have to take these things into consideration because the Lord is constantly showing that he's with his people. You know, the, 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 the personal situation that we go through, all right, and the Lord shows his power, okay? Hey, any victory, you know, small or great, you know, that should, you know, be a building block, you know, and our trust, you know, because we come to a time where we're going to fully put our lives in the hand of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know? And let him do what he's going to do, man. You know, whatever, you know, his will. And we know one thing, that the elect have a victory. Okay? And that's one thing that, uh, starting with the apostles and the elders on down, all right? And the men, all right, who teach this, the same doctrine in the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, they push a victory over this place, man. You know? So when you go to uh, Isaiah 10 and 20, and it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, and that remnant is the remainder, okay, which is the elect, okay? Because we're here right now for the remnant, all right? We put emphasis, emphasis on the remnant, man. The hell with the rest of our people that don't believe, man. The hell with niggas and nigger women, you know, any of our people that don't believe, man. You know, we'll see them on the other side. Okay, but right now the Lord is dealing with the remnant and he's preparing the remnant for a victory, man. Okay, he, he's preparing us to, to, to overcome, okay, the beast, man. As it's written in Revelation, man, about those that have victory over the beast. And we're going to keep speaking, you know, in, 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 in victory, man. Okay, because this devil is going to lose, man. He saw Edom is getting ready to lose, man, all the wickedness that this all the wicked schemes and plots and agenda that this man has you know playing for the earth this man, this man is going to lose man okay it's not set up for him to get the victory man okay this the part okay of the lord's movie where he saw Edom loses man and, and we believe that without a doubt okay and the times to come all right, it's going to seem as if this man is in full control and he has, you know, and he and he's going to accomplish, you know, his enterprise, man. But we know that's not the that's not the uh, uh, the end game, man. Okay, and it says, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Okay, so we're not going to be dependent. On the Esau Edom, man, the Lord is going to be fully provide for his elect, man. You know? And it's, and it's all based on scripture. Our belief comes from what's written. Okay? It's not speculation. <laughs> you see? It's not a sense of entitlement. Okay? Nah, man. It's based on what we read. Okay? That we know that we're going to be in a good case. Alright? Let's get a precept to prove it. Okay, to prove that what we're gonna be in, in good case. All right, let's get um uh, second Ezra. chapter two, verse twenty-seven. All right, second Ezra two and twenty-seven says, "Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful." But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Okay? So when the day of heaviness coming, all right, which is a hey, the, the, the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of chaos, the time of, of famine, 
You see? The scriptures say we should be merry and have abundance, man. All right? And we ain't got to know the how. We just know it's written. You see? And that's what we that's what we standing on, man. That's what when one time of, of, of chaos, we got to stand on these scriptures, man. Our decision making has to be based on our belief system, man. And everyone is going to be making decisions based on their belief system, man. Okay? And here it is. You know, ISUPK, they told you to, to, to trust the devil and take the juice. So you know they're going to tell you trust the devil and take the sea hip, man. Okay? Them niggas is juiced in. All right? And we're not going to, uh, 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 you know, we're we not going to let Jake slide with that shit, man, because it's off. Okay? Jake, Jake led you to the slaughter. You see? No faith was shown, man. Because there's a lot of Israelites, and I can't wait till you, till you nigga likes be put to death, man. You know, till the Lord really open up on you niggas, man. All right? That know that you Israelites, man, but still cling to nigga ways, man. You know? That's, that's the time that we're in, man. The Lord is finished, really start to lead niggas on a high level, man. All right? And, 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 and well needed. Okay? Niggas are in the way. Especially niggas that know that they're Israelites, man. Okay? Niggas are in the goddamn way, man. And the Lord finna open up on niggas, man. And niggas, niggas finna suffer. Okay? All you niggas that, that know that you Israelites, man, and still push that nigga energy, man, you, you're the worst thing going, man. Okay? And in the time to come, all right, you're going to have to depend on them nigga ways, man. All right? See, everybody is, is, is finna have to depend on whatever they trust in, whatever you put your energy into, whatever is your, is, is your, is your number one priority, whatever's your number one thing, that's what you're going to have to lean on in these times, man. Okay? That's what you're going to have to trust in, man. Alright? At the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim al is, 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 is getting ready to show who he's with and who he's not with, man. You know? And the thing is, we here for righteousness sake, man. It ain't like, you know, we, we just... All right, uh, 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 think highly of ourselves. Nah, man, it's to the point to where we just want to see righteousness reign in the earth. We await Yahweh shot. We await the end of Esau's rulership. We we await the end of our people in, the, in, the, in this low estate, man. You know, we thirst for these things, man. You see, and that's a that, and that's a, a mentality that comes from what, man? Being in the spirit, man. We pray that we stay in the spirit. You know, we pray that the Lord keeps the spirit on us to be obedient. The spirit on us to be disciplined. The spirit on us, you know, to just trust, man. You know? We pray the Lord keep us in, this, in that spirit, man. You brothers, all right? You, you, you sisters that believe, man. You know, that they, 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 they're sincerely trying, man. They, 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 they get it. And that's the thing, man. The Lord is dealing with those that get it. Those that fully understand, man. You know? That's whom, whom the Lord is dealing with at this time, man. Okay? This captivity was supposed to, uh, 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 you know, pretty much put us in submission to righteousness, man. Okay? And that's that's what is happening to the hopeful elect. All right? So let's read that again. Second Edges 2 and 27. It said, Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance, okay? And that and that's the thing that, that, that we're gonna stand on in these times, man. That's the things that we're gonna have full confidence in is what's written, man. Okay, the Lord said that his people are gonna be merry and have abundance. That's what it's gonna be. Okay? The Lord is always showing us, you know, in our day to day that he is. Okay? You see all these 144s everywhere, man. You know, you can be thinking of something and then, you know, truck pass by with, you know, the confirmation, <laughs> you see? A brother video, you know, uh, 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 confirm something you've been thinking. Like, the Lord is constantly showing that he is, man. You know? 
And that's all we need. Like, as long as we got your how about Shima El Shai, we good. We, we, we got abundance. That's abundance within itself, man. Our portion is your how about Shima El Shai. Like I say, that's abundance within itself, man. You know? That's everything we need and some. Okay? So, when you go here, let's get that, um, I think that second edge, yep, as well. 16 and get to the point. All right, this is um second edge of 1674. And it says, Here, O, o ye, my beloved. All right, going another word of what? The elect, the house of David, the beloved. Okay, what is, what is David? You know, die with die, the beloved in the Hebrew, man. Okay. <laughs> The, the, the house of David, man. And see, the house of David is here in full effect, man. Okay. Them, them spirits that was back there, with, you know, during the time of David. Okay. All those righteous spirits that was, you know, that was during that time, man, they're back. Okay. That generation of Joshua that was obedient, man, that went into the land, they, they conquered. All right, the heathen man, hey, that generation is back, man, for their final victory, man, in which we're going to get that final rest, man. <laughs> you know, we're finna enter into our rest, man. Okay, he's talking about a rulership, man. Okay, remember what we're here for, man. That's, a, that's another thing, like, you got to see the bigger picture, man. And, and if a nigga, you know, and, and we're going to speak on these niggas heavily, man, because that the, 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 the nigga demon, that hood demon. Okay, if a nigga still holds the hood in high esteem, a nigga don't have a mindset towards rulership, man. Okay, if a nigga still look at, 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 at hood culture as, as some type of elite culture in the earth, man, a nigga don't have a mindset towards rulership, man. Okay, the law finna erase cultures in the earth man with this destruction that you got coming man you see it's going to be suffering man all right and brother if, if a brother is, 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 is in that spirit man you gotta get out that spirit of, of, of long live the hood man okay because hey if you you in that spirit where you just got this soft spot for the hood man you're going to be highly disappointed in what the lord is going to bring all right to jake man Okay, we ain't seen nothing yet, man. The way them niggas terrorize each other, we ain't seen nothing yet, man. Okay? And, 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 and it's time to, to denounce that shit, man. We on to something else, man. Okay? This second edge of 16 and 74 says, Here, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Okay? And that's that remnant. The beloved, okay, he's gonna deliver us, all right, from from the same troubles that he's gonna bring. You see, that's why it's, it's time now to grow in favor with Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. Grow in His mercy, grow in His grace, man. Okay, verse seventy five says, "Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God, man, and we're gonna be guided." Okay, the Most High is our guide in these times, man, and the Spirit is going to be guiding us on how to move, man. We just got to trust in that Spirit. We got to trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Okay, we we got to fully believe and lean on Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, cause it's, it, in order to be guided, you got to trust that guidance. You know, for a woman to be guided by her husband, she has to trust their guidance. Okay, <laughs> you see. And we're going to be guided by power, man. Okay? Verse uh, 16 says, And the God, I mean, verse 76, it says, And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves, man. Okay? Because, hey, we all, you know, still in this flesh, and we have fault. Okay? But we can't let that deter us from, from continue developing their righteousness, man. Growing in righteousness, man. Okay? And we can't get, you know, out of pocket and get careless out here, man. You know? Nah, man, we gotta stick to the standard and just keep 
keep believing, man. Keep keep fighting, man. Keep hoping, man. You know? Keep rehearsing the righteous acts, man. You see? Keep detaching from this place, man. Letting that old nigga die, man. That old nigga woman die. Okay? And it's, and it's a daily process. Every day, you got to chip, chip some, you know, keep chipping away that old man every day. You see? And growing in, in the spirit. Okay? Not, 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 not niggas, you know, with fringes and shades on, man. All right? And the Lord's finna run through niggas, man. You see? The Lord's about to... Do, do, Demolish niggas, man, with, with fringes on, man. All you niggas with fringes, the Lord's finna demolish you niggas, man. Okay? Cause you niggas, you, you, you niggas is set in that in that low frequency, man. That low ass vibration, man. Of nigga culture, man. And some goddamn hood, man. Niggas done fell in love with their punishment, man. So the Lord got to got to kill you niggas within the punishment, man. Cause you niggas, all right, and fell in love with the punishment, man. You know, and we gonna keep speaking on it, man. I right, say so you got a soft spot for niggas, man. Okay, you got a soft spot for for a goddamn hood, man. Okay, you finna be heartbroken, man. What the Lord's finna do to niggas, man. And rightfully so, man. It's a wicked ass place, man. Okay? And good and, and good comes out of there. The Lord's elect come out of that environment, man. The Lord's elect come out of all environments, man. Okay? But overall, man, that, 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 that's, a, that's a goddamn production. Alright? That's, that's a goddamn... Uh, 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 mass production of wickedness, man. The hood has become a mass production for wickedness, man. The hood is Satan's goddamn uh, playground, man. Okay? And the most I finna go to war with them niggas, man. You know? You gotta get out that shit, man. And if a brother in that spirit, man, you gotta get out that shit. That's a goddamn demon, man. You know, I hate niggas, man. I hate everything niggas stand for, man. And the Lord hate niggas too, man. He's finna show it. You know? So, Lord, will you, brothers and you sisters, edify till next time I say Shalom. Call me out Shalom, Bob, or Bob, DTA soon. Shalom.